guys, welcome back to my channel! I'm back. Sorry I've been gone for a really, really long time, but I'm here to debut brand new makeups and my brand new series that has to deal with more personal stuff, which will be more later on once I am finished with it. And you can probably tell by the way I look what it's going to be about and more. So yeah, I'm very excited to show you guys brand new makeups, some from the brand new shows, um, some of my own creations, and very different ones from Broadway, Disney, more Cirque, more of my own, like I said before. So yeah, so today I bring you guys the Alegria in the new light, I believe it's called Bronx slash Angel Makeup. I couldn't decide from choosing both, so I decided to do both of them and turn it into one with the Bronx headpiece and kind of like the lips from the White Angel, the eyes from the White Angel, and the Bronx. So it's a mixture of both. So I'm very excited to show you guys this tutorial. Hopefully you guys like it and um, thank you for sticking around for such a long time because I haven't filmed the video in almost a year and there's a reason why i haven't filmed a video in a year and i'll all that will also be in my brand new series which will be later debuting on this year so i can't wait for you guys to see that as well so anyways let's get right into the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on all social medias because I'll be posting sneak peeks everywhere for my brand new makeups and new um, teasers for my upcoming series. So yeah, if you guys just want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, let's get right into the video. First things first, we're going to go ahead and apply our cream foundation base underneath our whole face like so and once you have that completed go ahead and take your cream highlight and apply it to the highest points of your face just so it can it can emphasize the highlights on stage or wherever you're performing next we're going to take a nice cream contour base and we are going to snatch our face using that be sure to blend um, those colors together effortlessly just so it looks smooth and natural next we're going to go ahead and take our cream blush and we're just applying it you know on the apples of our cheeks where blush should go and once you have that done we are taking this Ben Nye Lumiere cream color in turquoise and we are applying it on the face like a three so pretty much where you contour it that's gonna be the bottom half of the three and then the other top of the three it'll be just above the eyebrow as you'll see like so and then once you have that done for both sides go ahead and apply a little bit of that turquoise in the inner corner of the eye of both sides of course and then using a sponge or a brush go ahead and blend that in to make it look organic make it look nice and blended like it's coming naturally from your skin next we're going to be taking this cream color in yellow this is another Lumiere color in Ben Nye and we are applying it in between the three that we created and then we're going to blend that in to the skin making sure that it's nice and blended into the skin color and it's blended into the blue color. So both sides, it has to be really, really blended. So you have something like this. And once you have that done, go ahead and set your face with Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder or any kind of setting powder that you have that's translucent all over your face. Be sure to get rid of those crease lines because we don't want any creases in our makeup because we're trying to make it look as clean as possible. I do one eye at a time just so it can prevent me from creasing on the other eye. Next we're going to go ahead and brush off the excess powder that we have on our face and we're going to be taking our MAC Shaping Powder in Emphasize and we'll be emphasizing all of the parts that we previously emphasized with the cream color, with the cream, uh, the highlight, the cream highlight is what I'm trying to say. And this step is optional, you don't have to contour where on the hollows of your cheek or on the you know and then contour your philtrum and your nose don't oh, snatch that nose boots apply a little bit of peaches blush on the face just to give you more color give you more life so cute 
Next, we're going to take the Ben Nye Lumiere uh, Luxe um, Eyeshadow in Sun Yellow. And we're going to be applying it on top of the yellow cream base that we have applied previously. Like so. And once you have that done on both sides, I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows using the MAC Acrylic Paint in black. Like so. And we're going to fill them in about almost more than halfway. Like so. On both sides. And then we're going to be taking Tilt. And we're going to be filling in the blue part, the turquoise that we have previously filled in with the cream on both sides. Blend, blend, blend to the gods, guys. You have no idea how much blending you have to do. And next, I took a little bit of In the Shadows in the small detail brush, and I placed it on the outer part of the eyebrow. And then using a copper pigment from Mayron and the mixing liquid from Mayron, mix those two together and applied it on the eyebrows, on the more inner corner part of the eyebrows on both sides, of course. And once I did that on both sides, I went ahead and took some loose copper pigment of that same Mayron and I just packed it on top just to kind of bring the color more to life. And do it on both sides, of course. Next, I took more of the In the Shadows and using a pointed brush and then an angled brush, I kind of went underneath the eye to create a new um, waterline, as they call it. And next, we're going to create a wing shape. I did it differently here, but now it's more different. It's more like that. And then you just go straight down to the outer corner of your eye, creating kind of like a cat eye, like a thick cat eye. But I did it more differently. I kind of like this version better. But this one took a little bit more time, so the other version might be a little more easier. And you're just going to create a wing starting with a really long line on top and then going smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller going down, like so. Next, I took this copper pigment, the same one that we used on our eyebrows, and I applied it right next to the blue and uh, using a little bit more of the mixing medium and then a little bit of the copper pigment and voila. And once you have that copper done on both sides, we went ahead and took some silver. Um, you could use Stars in My Eyes from MAC, or you can use the Mayron Silver Pigment like I did here, and applied it on the inner corner of the eyes on both sides. And once you have that done, I applied a little bit of Aztec Gold from Ben Nye in between the silver and the copper, just to give it like the more of a, like a natural like fade of like rusted, I guess. It looks pretty cool. Applying a little bit of tilt on the inner corners like I'm doing so. And then on top of that, I took a little bit of more of in the shadows just to darken it up, darken up your eyes and give you more of that like, ooh, like I'm a badass. And using another bigger fluffy brush, use that to blend it, get rid of those harsh lines. Took a little bit of red apple from MAC, it's a red blush. Um, the newer version of the tutorial that I'm planning on creating in the future will have a red cream color underneath. But you could do this if you want to skip that step, which is kind of better because it's like you don't have to use a cream red underneath the eyes. And you're going to play that on both sides. A little bit of more sun yellow to blend that red into the yellow so there can be a nice transition color in between them. Next, I took the MAC Black Acrylic Paint and another pointed brush, and I just went over in the shadows just to kind of emphasize and make the blue, make the wing look more like more organic, more natural. And I brought the same acrylic paint down underneath my eye, like so. Next, we're going to be creating some dots on both sides of our eyes. So the black dots will be going on the inner corner and the outer corner of the eye. Get another little fluffy brush and brush some in the shadows underneath the eye just to kind of smoke out the acrylic paint that we had. So here we are creating the black dots and now we're going to create with some white dots using the MAC acrylic paint and ooh, pure white on the outer corner of the eyes and as well as the inner corner of the eyes. And if you want to go for that extra touch, you can do red dots on the inner corners of the eyes only. 
Next, we're going to be taking Café Ole by Rimmel, and we're going to be outlining our lips. Outlining the bottom lip, but filling in the top lip. Using a small e.l.f. lip brush, I went ahead and brushed that in. See how I'm filling in the top lip? The bottom lip, you kind of want to leave like a little bit of light color in the center, just because when we said it would powder, we're going to want to add that gold and make it look bomb. So what am I doing? I'm applying a little bit in the shadows that I had left over on the brush on the outer corner of our lips. So here I am applying the gold on the lip. See how bright that is? Golly! Oof! Next I'm going to be taking Oh Darling from MAC which is a highlight and I'll, it's like a gold highlight and I'll be applying that to the highest points of my face because you know we gotta look glowy or whatever. Next I am taking this e.l.f. not e.l.f. this dual lash glue and I am creating scratches on my face and this glue will later dry clear and we will apply our red foil our transfer foil on top and then we're gonna peel that off and we should create our own little kind of cool little scratches that are metallic and peel and once you have that done I took some of the airbrush makeup from Mac and I just went in and filled in the scratches just to give it more make it look more like I've been scratched a lot pretty much and you're gonna do that on the big scratch as well on the forehead next we're gonna apply a little bit of mascara underneath the eye just to get rid of those pigments that we have that are visible on the eye because we're gonna make our eyebrows look black you're gonna set that with a little bit of setting spray and we are done apply the headpiece that um, you may have or that you created that's similar to that or if you guys want to see how I created this headpiece let me know down in the comments down below but you should have something similar to this I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys in my next video